everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. This is lesson number four today of Mr. Skelsey's Science in my kitchen or my house or living room or wherever it happens to be. So, um, want to make sure that you guys are still washing your hands. Remember the magic number is 20 seconds. It's important. And social distancing, that six foot thing. But, you know, your brothers and sisters, I guess you can They'll give them a hug and stuff. So, um, so just remember those two things because we want to get through this as fast as we possibly can. And of course, it's time for our shout out to our Fox uh, homies out there. Let's see. Um, let's start with fifth grade. Alfonsi, Mrs. Alfonsi's room. Gabriel, Shane, Jimena, Sophia. Hello. Lathrop, so Miss Lathrop's room, Anaya, Janessa, Gavin, and Connor. Miss you guys. Miss Finelli's room, Maya, Morgan, Hunter, and Lorenzo. Howdy doody. Miss Buckley's kindergarten, Mason, Lucas, Julia, and Aubrey. Hope you're doing good. Miss Harris's room, Vincent, Logan, Nevea, and Mackenzie. How you guys doing? Hope you're doing good. And last but not least, Miss Mulnerick's room. And happy belated birthday to Miss Mulnerick. Um, Aiden and Jason and Amira and Leah. So hello to you guys. Hello to everybody at Fox. Hope you're getting a chance to check out these vids because this is supposed to help you guys out during the COVID-19 stay home, stay safe. Okay, um, so today what we're gonna be talking about, oh, wait a minute, we gotta get to Yoda, see what Yoda has to say. How you doing, Yoda? I am doing good. Let's hear what you have to say. Control, control, you must have control. I will try to have control during this lesson, which is not always easy for me, because I get crazy. Impossible to see. It isn't. Oh, it is impossible to see the future. Hopefully that things get better real quick. Okay, didn't really get that one. And last one. I do sense the force around me in my kitchen, which is really clean because Mrs. Kelsey just cleaned it today. Um, so we're going to be talking about structures today and we find structures everywhere. We find structures in nature, we find structures that are man or human made, okay? So what are some uh, structures you're gonna find in nature? Well, here's one, <clears> this <throat> nice green plant. Okay, so you got this structure. This isn't this plant has got a really strong stem. It's got leaves on it, okay? The leaves are gonna help it get, its, uh, get the sunlight, um, deliver, and then the stem itself helps deliver the nutrients and the water that needs throughout the plant so it can start to make its own food. This is a pretty durable structure. You can see I'm going kind of crazy. Miss Kelsey would kill me if she saw me doing this, but you can see it's very flexible in nature. If it was a windy day or a strong storm, this structure is gonna survive really well, okay? Another structure you find in nature is an egg. This is a real egg. I painted a silly little face on there. Hello, everybody at Fox Elementary. It's Egghead. And, um, you know, we usually do egg drop in my classroom this time of year. And we obviously use raw eggs to make it more exciting. But what a great design in nature um, as a structure. Chicken can sit on it, can hatch it. Pretty durable in a nest. A lot of strength this way. You don't, you know, I'm pressing pretty hard this way, but the the uh, weight is distributed evenly. The pressure is distributed, so it makes it a very strong, protective little um, structure for the egg. All right, and another structure in nature is just our human body. And, you know, we are designed in a lot of different ways. We have so many different systems in us, but every part of us really is a structure from our skeleton to our muscles to our teeth um, you name it it has something to do and if you kind of think about um, how we're designed with our legs for instance they're like these columns that keep us upright okay so that's a good thing now um, 
Let's see here. Oh, look at here comes one of our friends, Iki. How you doing, Iki? I'm doing good. So, if what's what have you been up to? Oh, I don't know. Just hanging out, watching movies, just being an elephant. Oh, okay. Well, Iki, um, did you know you're a structure? No way. Yeah, and you got a special structure. You got it. That trunk in the front, oh, they're special, and you can pick up things with it, like peanuts. You can throw uh, or suck up water and spray you with water. <laughs> ah, okay, well, okay, so Iki, you are a structure. You're kind of special all by yourself. I am special, High Fox Elementary. Okay, Iki, we're gonna let you go. Bye. Now, <clears throat> so even a, uh, a puppet is a structure, okay, and, um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to make some man-made structures and talk about those. And um, I'll give you some examples and hopefully you can find some things at home to uh, build with. All right, so um, Easter was like a week ago. And so I was experimenting and I made a structure out of, these are toothpicks and these are jelly beans. These are sweet tart jelly beans and it's kind of cool because I made a little triangle structure and if you take these you can use jelly beans whatever and I my toothpicks have a point on both ends and I'm just gonna push one in and push one in like this and I'm gonna take two more toothpicks just so you can see the beginning of how I made this not going crazy not super hard to push into these little jelly beans kind of got a hard coating but I can get through and then we're going to take this and this and maybe I could add it to this structure somehow with another toothpick. Let's see if we can do that really quick. Mom and Dad always say, don't play with your food. But you know what? What the heck? We made a structure from toothpicks. Oop, came undone. That science, stuff like that happens in science. You got to go back and fix it. All right. So I just used toothpicks and some jelly beans. I'm sure you can find something as a young scientist to start building stuff with. So, All right, so today I want to talk about um, form follows function. Now, that idea actually comes from an uh, architect that lived many, many years ago, and his name was Louis Sullivan. And um, he basically said, whatever you're going to design has to be made with the purpose of the job it's going to do, okay? So here's some examples of form follows function. If I want to flip pancakes or flip an egg, I'm going to use a spatula, okay? I'm not going to use a hammer, okay? I could try flipping the egg with the hammer, but I'm going to scratch the pan, okay? Form follows function, not very good in the kitchen. But if I want to build a house, this is great for pounding in nails or pulling out nails. That's what its form is designed for. If I go on a job site and I'm a carpenter and I show up with a spatula to pound this nail in, uh, they're going to say, you cray cray, Mr. Carpenter guy. Uh, this is not what you're going to use. Now, if I was going on the job site and making pancakes for the workers, this would be awesome. Again. The form follows function. That's just how things work. It works in nature, but it also works with what humans design. Now, uh, fork, it's great for picking up a piece of steak, fruit, eating my salad. Spoon, its function is soup. Okay? Now, um, so let's make a bridge. Okay? So what do I need for my bridge? I need my blocks. Okay. And if you don't have blocks at home, find something else to use. I'm, this is what I'm using because I happen to have them here. 
And I'm just going to double that up. And right now, I'm just going to take an index card and set it on there for my bridge. And now I want to test it. Now you might remember in video number three, we talked about um, buoyancy and floating and we made a, a boat, which is a structure to see if it could hold a hundred pennies. So uh, I'm not gonna use pennies today. I, I've got my little um, gram weights and we're gonna try one gram weight here. Wow, it held, cool. Let's try two. I see a little bend in there. Let's try three. It's holding up pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to change the experiment a little bit. Now, if you look at this structure, the blocks are pretty close. I'm going to separate them out a little farther. Oops, I'm destroying my structure. And now I'm going to put the card back on. It's a little farther apart. Let's see what happens. Ooh, do you see that? It bent. We got more of a curve. There's now more pressure. There's not as much, the, the card is taking more of the weight. What do you think is going to happen when I put this next weight on? Let's see. Ah, not very good. So that's a problem. So when you're making a bridge, it's really important that the structure, that the span has lots of support and that it's not spaced out too far. Now, the cool thing about this experiment is you can just keep going and going and trying. I used an index card. You could try a piece of cardboard. You know, you can get as venturous as you want to when you're building a bridge. All right. Now, um, you know, we talked about structures in nature. Hey, hey, there's Mr. Banana. Hi, Mr. Banana. How you doing? I'm doing good. So, do you know what we're talking about today? Mm, uh, Structures, yeah, structures. And I've got a structure right here. Ah, 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 Mr. Banana. Mr. Bananas. Mr. Bananas, get back here. Stole my structure, which was a banana. Bad little monkey. This happens all the time. Okay, so let's talk about something that you can do. That's a super easy way to make a structure at home. Hey, you know what? Mr. Factoid is out on a bicycle ride. So his sister, Mrs. Factoid, is gonna come in with a Factoid. What do you think of that, JJ? All right, I like Mrs. Factoid. Hey, Mrs. Factoid, Mrs. Factoid. Hi, JJ. Hi, social do you have a fact toy for us? I do have a fact. Okay. Did you know that the human neck has the same number of vertebrae as a giraffe? No way! You mean I'm a human? Basically. What? <laughs> I mean, I thought it was a giraffe. You're confusing me, Mrs. Fact Toy. <laughs> Bye, JJ. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, little fact toy girl. Oh man, what do you think, JJ? So I've got as many neck bones as you do. Huh, but I bet yours are larger, I hope, because giraffes are pretty big, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, hey, JJ, get out of here. Bye. Now, oh man, Mrs. Factoid, Mr. Fact, I can't keep up with all these factoid people. Let's get back to uh, something you can do at home. Now, this is just a piece of paper, regular piece of paper, okay? And I took some tape. Masking tape, scotch tape, doesn't matter. And I made a cylinder, okay. Now here's the cool thing about cylinders. They can take a lot of weight, okay. So let's see if I can get it to stand up here, okay. And this is just a card I had. So I can set that on there. And now we're gonna take our gram weights and see how much this cylinder can hold. It doesn't fall over. That's a hundred grams. Oop. 
All right, that's 150 grams. Now, <clears throat> why does this structure work so well? Because all the weight is evenly distributed on the cylinder. Ah! Yikes! That's what happens sometimes in science. Things fall over and get messy. So that cylinder was able to hold that weight, distribute it, and you see a lot of buildings that people have been using for thousands of years that use cylinders. See if you can find some cylinders in your house. All right, back to structures, guys. I've been showing a lot of different things, things that we can find in nature, like a plant, a tree, an egg, all these things, a seashell, a rock, all these, a rock, a mountain, palm trees, animals, butterfly wings, all these things are structures and all of them have a job that make them work so well in the world that we live in. Okay, so I've got some fun stuff though to do here. I got my little container of Legos. I'm just gonna dump it out here and we're gonna build a car, which is a structure, and our goal with our structure is try to keep our little animal creature in there. Okay, so through the power of editing, in about one second, you're gonna see a car up here. All right, through the power of editing, my car is already built out of Legos, pretty cool. And I put a little plastic kitty cat in there. Meow, meow. And uh, kitty cat, hopefully, will survive the um, ramp of craziness here. We're going to put our car down. And the goal, our goal in this, is to make sure Kitty Cat stays in um, the car. So, Kitty Cat, let's get you up here. Wait a minute! Tom, Tom, what's up? I heard you're trying to do something with a Kitty Cat. I know, we're just doing a science experiment. Ooh, can I say hi to Kitty? Okay, say hi to Kitty. Hello, kitty cat. Oh, doesn't say much, does she? Well, okay. Bye, good luck. Be brave. Oh, that's awful nice of you, Tom Tom. Give kitty cat a kiss there. Hey, uh, we got to get going here. I think we're going to be running over a little bit. Okay, so bye-bye. Tom Tom just pops up whenever he wants to. Okay, so our goal is to go down this cool ramp I made out of uh, using the blocks, piece of cardboard. Again, you can do whatever you want. I bet you guys do have Legos at home. If you do, make a car. Doesn't have to be kitty cat. It can be whatever you want for your goal. My goal is to keep it in. He's already falling. Let's see what happens. Go, kitty cat. Ah! Kitty cat fell out. Don't you know you need to buckle up? Here's the cool part about science. You can redo the experiment. Let's see. Yay, kitty cat survived this time. Fell over, but stayed in the car. So, cool. We're gonna move on to our last structure, so giddy up. All right, guys, so we're gonna do our last structure today, and you can see here Sam the dog here. Say hi to Sam, everybody. Hi, Sam, say hi, Sam. Woo, woo. Hey, hey, how are you doing? Hey, Icky, you gonna say hi to Sam? Hi, Sam! Ah, I scared him away, woo hoo. Usually he's like dragging me around the house trying to chew me up, so anyways. Okay, Icky. Now, so the last structure we're gonna do is card houses. And many of you have done this in my classroom. And I bet you guys have cards at home. They can be regular cards, they can be Uno cards, um, anything like that. So, um, and you can just try to make some kind of structure. Now I'm using it on this futon thing just because it's a little rough and if I use these cards on a um, on a tabletop or on my kitchen counter, that's a little slick and the cards fall down. So you want to have a, uh, a surface that's a little coarse to help keep the cards up. And I'm just going to do a basic little square. Will these fall down? They could, but that's science, guys. So... All right, let me see. Maybe I can put a roof on here, this little structure. And I can probably keep adding, uh-oh. It moved a little bit. Okay. And we'll 
see. Uh oh, <laughs> fell down. Oh well. Anyways, card houses are a cool little structure that you can use and um, use cards. It's an everyday thing that you probably have, and it's fun, and it's science, and ah, eeky. <laughs> ah, that bad little elephant. Anyways, so structures in nature, uh, structures that are made by people and um, are important. Remember, form follows function. We design chairs to sit in. We designed spatulas to flip pancakes. We designed hammers to pound in nails. We didn't design hammers to try to flip pancakes. Like I said earlier, it wouldn't work too well. So anyways, go around your house, see what you can build, find some blocks if you got them, find some Legos, find any kind of toys, use cups. If you got cups at home, you can um, make a structure out of cups and go from there. So, hey, I miss you guys. I love you guys. I hope everybody's staying safe and um, it's warming up out there. If you get a chance, get outside, go exploring in your yard and see what you can see. Bye.